For me, the key learning points is about making sure that as a senior leader in a school that you're open-minded about what parental engagement and community learning can look like. I think, you know, many schools will have had, done and, and worked in partnership with CLD, um, but the, a true partnership is really very much about making sure that we are genuinely planning and delivering things together, both with our CLD partners but also with our families. So I think for me the main learning point was, although um, I, that we had a, a range of things that we've, that we've made available to our parents. I think we were open-minded to know. It was hard for us to know what that end point would look like. What would the family learning programme look like in Kings Oak Primary School? You know, we knew that it would involve high levels of engagement. We know that there'd be a range of activities, some of those activities just for parents, some of those just for kids and some of for families. But we weren't really prescriptive about what should be on offer because we felt that, that a true CLD approach was about um, really getting that voice coming from the families, from the kids themselves, about the kind of activities that they wanted to engage in. So I think for me the key learning point is not necessarily to approach this with no sense at all of what you want to achieve, but really having an open mind about um, really how you tap into and figure out what the real needs of the community are rather than the perceived needs of what the community are. And I think that one of the things that we learned very early on is that parents were really looking for um, a space in actual fact to, to really look at their own their own learning, their own well-being, rather than necessarily a, a very direct approach about raising children's attainment or improving children's skills in reading, writing, maths, whatever. I think a lot of our parents were really looking at their own development, um, their own skills, their own expertise, and that was the beauty of the hub, is that we had things run the hub within a very short period of time that was very much based on parents' interests, parents' skills, parents' abilities. And that meant that I think that they could see that they were valued um, within the context of the hub and that it wasn't something that was being done. The hub wasn't a, a place that, that felt like it was owned by the school um, and the people who were working here didn't, didn't give a sense that, 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 that family learning was happening to them. It was very much led by, by parents' views, parents' ideas um, and I think they felt very quickly they had a strong voice in the hub. Um, and that was a really important part of what our CLD worker was able to do in those first few months, was really establish that atmosphere in this space. Um, I think staff are developing their understanding of what family learning is, um, and they've got a kind of clearer understanding of the kind of important role that parents play in supporting their children's learning, not by replicating things that would be happening in the classroom, but in actual fact by looking at those natural learning opportunities that, that exist in families, um, and actually really valuing that and, and understanding the importance of it. Um, so I think for staff that's been key. We would say look we're really committed to this. I respect to the resources, we're committed to working with CLD. We, we know that a, a strong school community requires that close partnership with community learning development. So irrespective of the level of resourcing we would have, we would be looking to tie up with our CLD workers to see what genuinely we can plan, deliver in partnership, not getting CLD to parachute in, deliver things and then disappear off, but really involve them in that process of, of uh, school improvement um, because, in, in my view, they would have so much to add. I think it's really important within education that we're working um, with uh, practitioners, colleagues who have different experiences, different sets of skills, um, different uh, qualities and talents and skills to add to a school community. So um, for me, CLD would, would allow us to do that. It allows us to differentiate between schooling education and, and that wider learning. Um, CLD workers understand that, they understand that learning is not owned by schools, it's not owned by teachers or by head teachers. So for me, getting that partnership with CLD would allow uh, any school culture to have that broader view of learning and value that broader learning that is so important to develop those partnerships with parents. Head teachers and schools need to change, you know what I mean, and, and need to change their view of learning, change their view of parental engagement because and I'm including myself in that, you know that, you know that my views changed considerably around about, you know, what good parental engagement looked like, but I just think there needs to be that challenge to head teachers, and there needs to be that vision of what is possible when you actually say, do you know, what we don't necessarily need is more, more schools, more, more school, schooly things, we need to be able to actually look outside the bubble of a school and really get um, those partnerships developed, and for me, CLD, takes you in that direction. I think that that approach allows you to develop partnerships that you wouldn't even know would exist. So.